everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Megan, and today we're going to be doing the first round of our packages for Mythical Mail Monday, and today is currently May 11th, yes, May 11th, Tuesday, May 11th, I just did a Mythical Mail Monday yesterday, and then this arrived today, so we're just going to start this now for the following Mythical Mail Monday. If you don't know, Mythical Mail Monday is a bi-weekly series I do in which I share with you every other Monday what books and bookish things I have received throughout the past two weeks. So without further ado, let's get into this box. It is the April Illumicrate. Okay, so the theme for the April Illumicrate is Dearly Departed. And just based on this, I just remembered that there is an item inspired by the beautiful in here, which I'm very excited about because I love the beautiful. So the first thing I'm pulling out is actually a Nevernight, I believe, inspired item. We've got some crows, some daggers, too many books, too few centuries, and oh, it's definitely Nevernight. We've got Mr. Kindly at the top there. Um, I will be honest, I did see this as a spoiler already, so I would have trying to be guessing what this was, but I did find out. This opens up. I am going to keep this, so I'll go ahead and pull it out. So basically, this opens up and you put your books in here, and it keeps like all of your books nicely organized. It's called a book organizer. So you just stack them in here, and it's a nice little um, place to keep your TBR, essentially. Next, I believe, is our uh, next book pot. I think we are at the time in which another book pot will be arriving. Yes, so here is the book pot. It says Book of the Dead, Necromancy, Resurrection, Immortality, Discover the Ancient Secrets of the Underworld. So this feels like a good uh, book pot to keep near the beautiful and never a night and cruel prince and maybe not cruel prince but vicious and vengeful and those type of books. So this is going to look really nice on that shelf. Next item is a mason jar mug, it looks like, and it says Jacques's Restaurant, which is actually the restaurant in The Beautiful. So I'm a little disappointed that this is the item uh, for The Beautiful, but I think this will be cute to kit. put like a little lemonade in with a nice metal straw from one of these many, many straws that we receive in book boxes. Um, but yeah, that'll be cute. Next is a set of bookmarks. It says Rovar Chopka. Yeah, I don't know if I'm actually reading those correctly and I don't know who these are inspired by, but they're really cool bookmarks. Next is an enamel pin and it looks like a skull made of flowers, which is really cute. It looks like a Jack Skellington-esque skull made of flowers, which I actually really like. Next we have a set of magnets and it looks like these might be inspired by Gideon the Ninth based on like that face paint slash mask thing going on and they look pretty cool. Last item before the book is actually really really cool. It's a little scythe keychain. Oh my gosh. And on it it says I ain't waiting for an opportunity. I'm making one. And Ah, I don't know if it's actually inspired by Scythe because I don't recognize that quote, but I'm going to say it is because I love Scythe and this is a little Scythe and I'm definitely putting this on my keychain, you guys. <laughs> and our book of the month is In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland and I'm already in love with this book based on the synopsis on the back. She loves a princess. She's bound to a warrior. She must betray them both. I love it! And beautiful stenciled edges. We've got, look at those end papers! Yes! And then here is the art card and author letter. But I'm, I love this book already. I know it. I just know it. It's like Girl Serpent Thorn. I know I love it. I haven't read either of them. I know I love them. That is all for this box though, so I'll see you guys in my next unopening. Hi friends, it is now Monday, May 17th, and we're going to be continuing our Mythical Mail Monday for next week's post. So I just received the Shadows and Crows box from Novel Yours, a monthly exclusive candle box, and I am so, so, so excited, you guys. Here is what we see. Ooh, 
right on top we have the spoiler card of oh this is actually a hint for next month's theme oh wait i'm not sure what this is because it says may 2021 ghosts in the graveyard but it's shadows and crows but maybe they're kind of tied together i'm not sure but without further ado let's jump in first thing we have here is a bookmark it says one could plot violent espionage and still have room for dessert one of my favorite Nina's and it quotes and then on the back we have hope was tricky like water somehow it always found a way in from the ruin and rising book next is a print a double-sided print the side says maybe the gift of being human is that we do not give up even when all hope is lost and then on the back we have love healed your wounds fixed what was broken and allowed you to go on these are both quotes from rule of wolves which i have not yet read i'm planning to read it in july after i finish king of scars in june so yes <laughs> and then we have a folded something here oh it looks like it is a map of ketterdam and now into the goodies of the box which are the candles uh, I don't know if you can see, but I've got quite a few candles going on already. They go all the way across here. Um, so imagine like if from here to here was full of candles. That's pretty much my Grishaverse thing going on right now, but it is what it is. Our enamel pin is there is no end to our story with a stack of books. We got a chapstick that says you're better than waffles. I don't normally like chapsticks, but I might keep this just because it's a Nina quote. Then we got a ground coffee of Ketterdam Roast. I'm not a coffee person myself, but I'm sure my grandparents will love this blend. Ooh, we got a little coin that's supposed to be like um, used in the Crows Club. It's worth 100 Krug. And it says, when you can't beat the odds, change the game. I love this. It's like a little poker chip. I love this. Oh my gosh. Putting this immediately on the shelf. We have a magnet. Perfect for my TBR cart here. You and I are going to change the world. The infamous Darkling quote. Okay, I think I found our first candle. Okay, so our first thing is the Darkling, the starless one. And the Darkling smells of the forest, earthy musk, and dark current. That's kind of how I would imagine the Darkling to smell, actually. And it's just a gray candle. I'm gonna eventually need to, instead of having a Grishaverse shelf, have like a shadow and bone shelf and then a Ketterdam slash King of Scar shelf. That's the point we're getting to right now. <laughs> Here's a little one. This one's for Inej. It's purple, which I feel like fits Inej perfectly. It says the Wraith and Inej smells of ocean air, geranium, apple blossom, and honey. Oh, I love that scent. Yeah, we're gonna need two separate shelves. Well, next we have Jesper Fahey, the sharpshooter, who smells of gunpowder, farm fields, and apple syrup. Oh, this is like a perfect fall scent, and it's just an orange. There are so many down in here. I'm loving this. Next, we have Kaz Brecker, uh, Dirty Hands, Hot Chocolate, Coffee House, and Almond. Oh, that is like a walking straight into a coffee house for sure like walking into not even a starbucks but like an independent coffee house if you know what i mean oh i like that and we have matthias helvar the druskill ash tree winter frost and starry sky i'm mm. <laughs> just like mm, at each of them um yeah, that's a really nice one as well. They almost each fit like different seasons, which I really like. Then we have Wyland Van Eck, the Merchling. Smells of sheet music, wisteria, wildflowers, and explosives. His is like my least favorite scent, I would say. It smells a lot more of like a soap, but it's not a bad scent. <laughs> I don't even know where to put it. It's just gonna slide in right there for now. Yeah. Then we have good old Nina, the heart render. It smells of toffee, maple, brandy, and rose. Oh, hers might be my favorite. This will be my second Nina 
candle because Nina's my favorite. Nina, Nikolai, and Kaz, I would say, are my favorites. And I believe this is our last one. Based on the theming here, I'm gonna guess this one's Alina the Sun Summoner. Yes, Alina, Sun Summoner, Sunshine, Meadow, and Max. Oh, I lied, I like hers best. It's got a nice citrusy smell. I would say hers, the Darkling, um, Jesper and Nina are the best. Kaz and Inej are kind of still up there, and then uh, Wyland would be the worst, but they're all so good at the same time. I literally do not have space on the shelf. It's, it doesn't fit anywhere, so I just kind of stacked it. But that is all for the Shadows and Crows box. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll check in with you in the next Hi friends, unboxing. we have our last unboxing for today's Mythical Mail Monday. So I'll um, unbox this, edit our video, and get it up today. But we have the May, I think? Yes, the May Owl Crate. I'm pretty sure it's the May one. It just says, expect the unexpected. Again, I believe this is the May. Here is what our spoiler art card looks like. It's almost like a haunted New York City in a way. Our first item is in this pouch. It looks like it's some sort of fabric bag. It does have a zipper and it opens up like this. It's a fabric tote bag and on the front it says, may we meet again on distant shores. And this is actually a line from Obsidio. Next is another fabric item. It's a rule of wolves out of print item. It's Alcrate exclusive and it is a licensed Grishaverse item. It looks like it's some sort of tapestry and it says we're all monsters now and that's what it looks like. Um, I want it because it is Grishaverse but I honestly don't know what I would do with it so I will likely sell this piece. I guess maybe I could use it as like a headscarf bandana type thing. I'm not sure what to use it for. Let's see what the spoiler card says it is. It's a square scarf. I honestly don't think that would work as a scarf for me, but who knows? <laughs> next is our next A Darker Shade of Magic book tin. This one is for Grey London. It says, Crown the Captains, Deadly Pirate Kings and Queens. Um, Stas was gone and it's got the gray map on it. I actually really like this one and I think it would look good even though it's a darker shade of magic. I think I'm going to put it on my sea piratey shelf. And on the inside it says I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. The infamous uh, Lila quote. Next is our enamel pin. Logic ends where love begins. And I think this is a metal mark. Yes. Neither myths nor mysteries can hold a candle to the most infinitesimal spark of hope. Hope in the shadow of fear is the world's most powerful motivator. Why do I know that quote? Hope in the shadow of fear is the world's most powerful motivator. Oh, that is uh, from Scythe. So, yes. Then we have a sticker that says most myths are just truths covered in cobwebs. I am hoping to start journaling soon. I will stick to this, I swear it. Um, and I want to use a lot of the stickers I've received in book boxes. I might do a like sticker collection video. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. And the book is one I've been very excited for. It's The Ones Who Are Meant to Find by Joan He. And I'm gonna open this up. So it looks like they changed the coloring of the background and the waves just a tiny bit. Here, for example, is what the regular cover looks like. This is more like purpley pink with a dark blue and this is more like greenish blue. I love both, honestly. I'm pretty sure this is like a sci-fi -e female female romance book. I could be completely wrong, but then we also have the author letter here. And look at these end pages. Those are really cool. And then we also have this cool embossing on the hardcover. And of course, it is signed. Then we have our Alcrate scoop, um, just our book challenge, author interview, that sort of thing. And last but not least, we have next month's theme, which is Go Your Own Way. 
and every June box will include an enamel item from Pineapple Sundays. The item is not the keychain we pictured, it's something we've never sent in a box before. So here's kind of what that looks like. But that is all for my three unboxings for Mythical Mail Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will check in with you in my next video. Thank you again and bye everyone!